Last time we explored the basics of Hunt, a static site generator by David Thompson, written in Scheme language. It is a second, the second part of the series, and here we will uh, explore Hunt further, and we'll try to apply it for our practical use cases. I'm Andrew Tropin, and I solve interesting problems and do a lot of free and open source software development along the way. And you may know me as an author of Geeks Home and RD projects, or maybe for something else. Let's uh, start with a small recap of the previous stream. And uh, the first thing is about static site generators. We use static site generator instead of writing a plain HTML or doing something else, because uh, we want to remove some repetitive tasks and make it uh, content first. Also, we don't use full-fledged uh, content management systems, uh, not to have all the complexity of those CMSs. Also, we use Hunt uh, because it's quite minimalistic compared to other solutions, which you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of lines of code. It's quite hackable. You can swap around different parts of it, or you can rewrite it completely in a day or a few. Also, it's written in Scheme, which is relatively thin language in terms of dependencies. It's quite fast. Uh, you can launch it from CLI. You can use it uh, with REPL and uh, you don't have to wait until, you know, uh, it will build everything that you need. Uh, it's not that fast, maybe as some other solutions, but co f fast enough for our use cases, I think. Also, it's my primary language at the moment, so it's quite logical uh, option to pick. So we're here. And uh, after the last stream, I did a few experiments uh, with Hunt. I uh, was able to make a development workflow in a REPL without using CLI. So I basically start a web server, which watches the directory and serves the files from it. And I rebuild the site uh, manually by, uh, by executing some code and uh, Today I will show you those bits that I've I've done uh, since last last stream, and we will try to go further and migrate my current org mod uh, based site uh, to the hunt. First of all, we will start uh, with the topic how to use hunt without CLI or almost without CLI. Uh, we will take a look at uh, basic hunt primitives, which we will use for building pages. <coughs> and also we'll move uh, org static pages to hunt uh, suitable HTML, probably using OX uh, or X uh, hunt export backend. Experimented with it, uh, probably Probably it can uh, require some additional work. And after that, we will build a minimal block so I can at least uh, write some content and share it with people if I want. Uh, later we will adjust and make it prettier with CSS and maybe some navigation. But if we want to finish it today, it's not a problem. I can do it later. Uh, the most important part is to accomplish first four tasks. And uh, last, in case we will have too much uh, time left, uh, we will try build a Geeks package uh, for the block to make it easier to deploy it using Geeks deploy. But we will see, maybe uh, I will We'll be deploying it uh, differently using, you know, some stateful approach like SSH, uh, FS, or just copying by uh, rsync or something like that. 
Okay. Let's go to the first thing. Using uh, hunt without CLI. And here you can see uh, my my repository with all the uh, stuff currently available on my personal domain, which is uh, trop.in. And you can see it's a very simple HTML page with a few CSS uh, adjustments. And here you see a few more static HTML pages, which is, uh, you know, should be easy to migrate to hunt. And all those pages are defined here as uh, org files, which later exported by uh, Emacs to the HTML files. The task for today will be uh, maybe ch changing those org files to HTML files. And uh, building those HTML files using a hunt. Uh, and probably later we will create one more page, uh, one more uh, directory for posts and we'll use it uh, probably for storing markdown or maybe HTML files, we'll see. I still not decided uh, completely on the workflow I uh, would like to use. I don't really want uh, to use uh, OX uh, hunt package for Emacs and I, I don't want to have a dependency on Emacs for building the site because you know Emacs is uh, too complicated and big uh, as a dependencies for as a dependency for a simple static site generator, but we'll see. <coughs> Talking uh, about non-CLI usage of hunt, uh, you can see a make file on the right. And here inside a make file you have, you can see two targets. Uh, both of them calling guile with just uh, a snippet of code. Uh, first one just runs surf command from hunt surf web server model and uh, passes a target TMP site as an argument to it. And the second one is just running guile with custom load pass, which is equal to SRC directory of my repo and which launches a build site function with argument of mine site uh, located in tropian site model. Okay, we will explore it uh, later uh, because we will be do the same stuff in the REPL. For now, uh, I would like to start the REPL itself so I can connect to it from Emacs and evaluate some parts of the code and see the results of it. And also uh, we will launch a surf, I guess, and it will be enough. So I will open uh, eShell in the project directory. We'll call make REPL and we'll open another e-shell for serving static uh, static content using built-in web server in hunt package <coughs> so right now uh, on this address you see uh, almost the same page as this one but you can see it's it's slightly different uh, because I already did some work of porting uh, one page from one format to another, but it's not a complete port. And uh, during today uh, stream, we will rework it. 
because this one doesn't have uh, hidden HTML code which I need uh, because markdown common mark guile common mark doesn't support uh, plain HTML uh, and it doesn't parse it so I can't put uh, a customized HTML inside markdown file so I will need to rewrite it uh, from org format to HTML rather than markdown but it shouldn't be too hard okay let's see we have uh, our server ready for serving requests also I have a source code of Miguel here of uh, his blog uh, actually I don't know how it looks right now but uh, I took a brief look and I saw actually it looks quite nice I took a brief look and saw some uh, helper functions inside his repository so maybe I will borrow something from it for example here he has static page which I also implemented but probably somewhat different from it okay let's go back to our source code you can see that it processes get requests from my browser the source code for the site located in src tropin site directory or file or whatever and here you have a lot of uh, you can see a lot of comments and I have a static page and assets or assets whatever it called and here you can see mm, that uh, this site object created by site function will be stored in mine uh, site variable which I can use uh, to build the site uh, okay let's let's first uh, connect to the REPL and evaluate this model and uh, we'll see the content of my site variable and here at the bottom of the screen you can see a lot of information about uh, this thing it's a record with a few uh, fields we can adjust it uh, for example set it set the domain uh, set title to something more meaningful like site title uh, because later uh, I would like to spot uh, that I have my site title as I did here my first hunt uh, site and change it to something more meaningful probably depending on the page we are on okay and default metadata let's update it to something like this I don't know if I uh, need email metadata if it used somewhere but okay uh, readers uh, script or scribe reader and common mark reader okay we keep them uh, build directory target TMP site it works for me right now posts directory it's probably will be pages posts and watch files it's something that I was experimenting with uh, it's not a real uh, argument to the site and builders uh, I did a few experiments here you can see some random commented stuff here and there 
static directory, uh, blog, and so on. Let's start uh, with static pages. Let's see, oh, static page. How uh, I implemented static page, it has file, destination, them, title, reader, and that's it. Okay, uh, let's say I don't want a common mark reader. I want a simple HTML reader, but I don't remember how it's called. But let's go to common mark uh, reader and see here, scribe tech info. Okay, probably HTML reader defined here. HTML reader. It's it's very simple. It uses a read HTML post. You see, it's the hand is uh, tightly coupled with post notion and with blogging setup. So. Uh, it could be a little more generic, li like read HTML page instead of post. And uh, maybe some other logic uh, is also too much coupled with post, post notion. But okay, mm. it's not a big problem, I guess, because the code itself Code itself, uh, maybe read metadata header support. Okay, let's see how we can apply it. Uh, I would like to. Uh, Open a buffer with site SM and uh, try to write a simple function which uh, uses hunt reader, use models uh, hunt reader. I use model. Uh, I call use models in line uh, and not in the definition of the model because it's, you know, quick and dirty experimentation. Later I will remove it. Uh, and now we need a read HTML post and I guess we need uh, to do call with input file. Uh, pam pam. File will be pages index HTML, for example. Okay, and after that we will do a read HTML post like this. It accepts file and procedure of one argument and file should be string naming a file, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it should work. Let's evaluate this and this. Read HTML post and bound variable. Okay, uh, probably uh, it's not exported. Yeah, uh, read. HTML post is not exported, so we will do a dirty trick. <coughs> we will do this thing, uh, hunt reader. 
which allows to uh, to access private fields. Okay, and now it complains about invalid metadata. So uh, gazer error. Debug jump to debug. I think I don't want automatically jump to it. Uh, pam pam. Okay, let's see what we have in pages index HTML. We have a lot of stuff here. It's actually mm, just. Org exp exported HTML without any metadata. Let's add simple separator and let's evaluate it one more time. Okay, and now it's row sparse error, wrong character. Um, to be sure. Let's title sample title. Let's do something like this. Okay, it's definitely uh, can't parse the stuff. What if I remove this one? And doc type. It e exports uh, a lot of stuff, but it should be a valid HTML, I guess. If you comment this out, it should be valid HTML. HTML test mod. Probably it can't. Actually, I don't know why it can't parse it, but let's cut this one out as well. Invalid metadata. Uh, okay. What are you complaining about? Okay, let's try to see. I'm just trying to remove everything randomly until it works, but it doesn't want. But okay, actually, anyway, I don't want to have all the squad. I need only a part of it. So let's remove style. Let's remove head. Uh, like this, it still it still complains about something. Complains. What if uh, I do this and whoa, it still fails. Don't know. Let's let's just. Uh, Cut everything from here. Does it work now? Now it works. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's remove this part. Does it work? It works. So the problem is somewhere here. Let's find it out.
Okay. It it looks for me like a perfectly valid uh, HTML, and I don't know where where it fails. Why it can't read this HTML post? Okay, this one. The problem is somewhere here. Let's uh, go deeper. Let's remove table of content. No, it's not a table of content. Okay, it's something wrong with highlighting. Why it's so? Okay. If I remove this part, it's still it still fails. Uh, so maybe this part. Okay. Okay, the problem is somewhere here. Let's do this one. Yeah. Okay, I see. Probably the HTML parser doesn't know how to parse this thing. If you remove... Uh, yep. Yeah. I found out the cause of all the problems. HTML parser can't understand how to parse this thing. And actually, let's uh, take a look at the implementation. It uses XML to SXML. Wait, it's defined. XML to SXML. Probably in SXML simple. Yes. Okay, I won't dive uh, too much into the sink. Let's uh, try to bring everything back to the original state. Boom, boom. Um, test title. And here let's just find the thing and remove it and try again. Okay, no matching pattern, top PXML version, blah blah blah. Uh, what if you remove this one? Okay, this thing is parsed correctly. But I still don't need all that stuff. Just wanted to make sure that the problem was... was related uh, to the property uh, of the a tag without equal sign. Let's see, HTML a tag. Mm, 
Definition, usage, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, hidden href. Oops. Actually, uh, I don't remember where hidden comes from. Hidden. Oh, hidden. Probably hidden. Uh, definition and usage. The hidden attribute is boolean attribute. Okay, so we actually can use it like this but probably but probably the boolean attributes can can be defined differently uh, boolean html attributes I see boolean attributes. The values true and false are not allowed on boolean attributes. To present a false value, the attribute has to be emitted altogether. Okay, actually it's... There is no way to explicitly set the attribute. Is it uh, a part of a XML? How to boolean type work in XML with examples? It tries to represent uh, a boolean value with XML, but I interested in XML itself. <laughs> It's quite unfortunate <laughs> that I can't uh, parse HTML to SXML uh, easily. <laughs> so I will need to re-implement re the whole the whole code. Maybe not not the whole code. Uh, maybe I can I can just remove uh, this part. Probably. Rise this part. Mm. 
бла 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 uh, remove hidden property and parse it and see the result okay what I will do right now I will clean up uh, all the stuff here don't need table of content h1 uh, class body probably I can update this link to something like this does it work yes it is cool uh, pam pam rd oops correct contact html let's see do it like this outline container oh, too too much complicated uh, I want a simpler structure can I use just h2 without a wrapping container post humble okay like this uh, so I basically try to get only the content out of the HTML Actually, I don't think that I need the wrapping diff as well. Unexpected end of file. Okay, okay. Let's let's keep the body. Let's see what we have here. Now it's a little simpler. We have parsed metadata out of it. We parsed HTML. It's it's said it said that I can't keep it as a plain HTML and having this uh, hidden property quite annoying, but it's it's because SXML parser is not perfect, or maybe maybe HTML is not compatible with it. I don't know. But uh, I thought that HTML is subset of XML and should work. XML attribute without value. Let's let's find out. An attribute must be, specifi be specified with the following syntax. Uh, syntax name equal add value if you're trying to specify an attribute as below then no that is not valid Okay, it seems HTML is not subset of uh, XML. And uh, empty at uh, attributes are not valid. And parsing HTML with X uh, S uh, with XML parser is not completely correct. Which is a little bit sad. But I actually know the solution. 
to easily write parsers uh, for Guile. I experimented with Tresitter a little bit and it works quite well so we can we can transform HTML to SXML representation and use it using Tresitter. But Tresitter is a little bit beefy dependency, but it's not as beefy as Emacs for sure. Okay, uh, let's create a, va a variable, define our index page, index HTML. After that, index HTML. Actually, it should be two values here. And I'm interested in the second value. How to get uh, the second value? Uh, mm -hmm. I know that uh, they select values, but I uh, I want to get uh, a second value. Define values. Okay. Uh, let's do it like this. Index meta. Actually, this is the second thing that I uh not really like uh, about implementation of the reader that it always requires to have a metadata at the top of HTML so uh, in my opinion it could be okay to treat a plain HTML as you know HTML without additional metadata okay let's see what we have we have this thing here. Interesting. Why we have so much spaces and backslash ends? Okay, let's go to our HTML and let's just clean it up. Remove all un all necessary. Oops. Unnecessary empty space and new lines and attributes. Section number one gigs why is this id gigs mirror span div outline no, we don't need it. Okay, uh, let's evaluate one more time. Let's see what we have here. Okay, it's quite simple right now. Let's take a look at how it implemented in uh, Miguel's code.
he also uses um, SXML representation. Okay, let's see how it serializes. Uh, SXML, I, I would say. To the actual HTML, uh, SXML to HTML string. Let's see. Okay, the serialized version will look like this. Which seems okay. But let's try a very simple Okay, le let's try this one. Uh, define team P SXML like this. Uh, okay. Team P SXML. Good. And what if I would like to do something like this? It will fail. I can't express this logic with SXML. It's very sad. Very sad and unsatisfying. SXML is not the best candidate for representing HTML in scheme data structures. At least it seems so. I wanted to migrate all org uh, pages to HTML and be happy with it. But I can't actually do it. So what 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 op options I have? I can keep index page to be a plain HTML and just copy it to the target directory as it is without uh, transforming it to intermediate SXML and bringing back to HTML. It is one of the options. And let everything else, by everything else I mean block part, to 
P managed by HUD. But it seems we need something like hiccup for scheme. Hiccup uh, is a notation. A closure notation for HTML which works quite well and probably covers the whole HTML comparing to the SXML. It's very, very good, but what about Boolean properties? It's not what I want. I don't want the SQL science at all. Hunt HTML. Oh, it's probably attribute to HTML format port. Okay, okay. Probably we can fix it. Uh, we can fix it uh, on the hunt side, so it's not necessary. So it's not necessary to rewrite re everything and reinvent everything. Okay, okay. This stream is getting less interesting than I expected. By more interesting, I mean, you know, getting uh, some fun from already working solution. <laughs> and now I need to dive deeper into all that stuff. Okay, I will make a small break and we'll come back in a few minutes.
Okay, I came came back. Mm -hmm. We stopped at the moment that we can't correctly parse HTML and correctly serialize HTML from SXML in some cases like this one when we have an attribute without a value which is sad and unsatisfying so uh, I guess the most reasonable thing to do right now will be is uh, to postpone the correct seri serialization of this stuff and focusing on the blog posts directory and build directory so what I will do here I will keep my current static pages to be HTML generated from org mod files I don't know maybe I will just commit them as plain HTML and won't be uh, using org mod at all or maybe I will keep Emacs for building them for a while but for now I can't build it with hunt for the reasons I mentioned and I don't want to fix uh, HTML serializer from SXML for now because I also need to fix HTML to SXML parser uh, which is a hard task and I won't accomplish it during today's streams for sure and maybe not uh, in the nearest future so let's focus only on uh, block part so I can generate a few simple pages for my blog and build them with hunt let's see I already have a simple them which is uh, which takes which have a post template and layout it takes uh, a title and body and inserts body inside a container adds a default footer sets style sheet to simple CSS and also adds some some stuff at the beginning of the post okay actually it could be a little bit different but okay uh, let's let's work with the stuff we have and uh, modify it later Okay, pages, posts, pages, posts, uh, posts, and here we will you will create something okay uh, we will think about naming scheme later uh, I will just make a hello MD do we have other MD files here pages post team PMD like this hello common mark uh, date date tag smart 
Mark down, blah blah. Oh, no. Uh, just a simple post. It is a hello post from. Low post. I can't type properly. Post directory. And let's update it a little bit. Actually, okay. Uh, Seems good for now. Um, hello, MD. One post will be enough. Let's go back to our site. Pages, posts, TMP site posts. Okay, let's let's build it. Uh, let's build it, and to build it, I will on comment this line. Wrong type argument. Reader matcher. Post directory, build directory, readers. Okay, I defined something incorrectly. No, I don't think so. Simple then. In procedure, reader matcher, wrong type argument, reader. Hmm. I don't get it. Uh, it worked for a while. And now it doesn't. Absolutely not clear what it what is happening here. Okay, let's uh, kill the ripple. Let's restart it. Let's connect. Oops, it was a mistake. Scheme mod. Uh, Gazer connect. Okay, I just revolated the absolutely the same code, and now it works. Very interesting. Okay, let's uh, get our block entry and let's see it's a local host posts. Okay, uh, here in posts we have this stuff. Okay, probably we need to do a prefix.
Okay. Project directory. Here it should be like this. Okay, good. Now I can re rename it to blog, I guess. Page posts, TMP site. Okay. Uh, we get static stuff copied correctly. We get our pages here. What else? Uh, since the last time uh, I realized that collections allows to create a few different pages which can present a few uh, different type of posts, for example collections and let's let's customize collections and let's create a few pages few pages for it first one is the default one is index html so it's should be the same as index html um, let's see let's take exa example from miguel's repository blog collections it has very simple blog collection which looks like this but okay uh, something to start with What I would like to have, uh, I would like to have at least three collections. First one will be tech. The second one will be personal. Personal. And now let's see how uh, block collections works. Probably uh, it should be some kind of filter. Let open. Oops. Okay, we don't have info for hunt uh, in the CMAX instance. Let's. Okay. Uh, in this environment, I cleaned up Emacs load pass, so it starts incorrectly. Uh, Okay, let's just do gix shell hunt, something like this. 
and now oops uh, hunt we have it very good I need I need programming interface readers builders pages posts Okay, we need builders, I guess. Builders, blog. File name and filter. Okay. Mm, so this should be a function which filters posts by tags, I guess. Personal. Okay. Uh, Post reverse chronological uh, where it came from. Reverse. It comes from hunt posts, I guess. Let's check if I can go to definition. Yeah, I can. Uh, there is a group by tag function. Okay, what uh, I will basically do, I will use this function to see the result of its evaluation and define filter by tag. It will return a function which accepts posts and returns posts reverse chronological at posts from posts uh, and also display posts like this. Good. And instead of this one, I will use posts filter by tag tag okay cool we have output here let's use something Mm, not much better, but okay. Group by tag. Cool. So filter by tag uh, could be just mm. very simple function. It's basically a list and I need uh, a soc ref, I guess. Soc ref list. 
key tag and tag should be a string display oops Okay, uh, that's right. Common mark. That's right. Correct. Filter by tag. This is a little bit more fun than dealing with all that stuff related to SXML and HTML parsing and other things. Blog. All. But I would like to rework this all page but you know we already spend a lot of time okay uh, how to get a default value Basically, we can do or list. Good. Uh, now let's open our hello MD. This will be tech. Oops. And now let's try it out. HTML. Good. Let's try to make a few more posts. This is my thoughts personal. Very personal thoughts. Okay. Mm. Boom. Why so? What happened? What just happened? Recent posts. Okay, why it generates a wrong euro? Don't get it. Hmm. 
let's let's restart a ripple one more time build everything okay this is very wrong Simple them. Post ref after blah blah blah. Post. Very interesting side effect. Okay, and now links. Now links works correctly. What the heck? SRC pages posts. Let's copy. So it's MD technical sorts. Okay. Okay, it's it's a bug and I see how to reproduce it. It definitely should not be this way. The href Okay, it's definitely a bug. Uh, oops. Report uh, fix bug with prefix plus multiple. Okay, I think that it's already quite a lot for today. We used uh, Hunt without CLI, which may be handy because 
you know, I can evaluate parts of the code or the whole uh, model with the site and rebuild it. Uh, so it's a little bit more control than after reload or some other stuff. Also, we didn't take too much into the basics, uh, basic hunt primitives. We just saw that it parses everything to SXML and after that tries to serialize SXML to the HTML and it's not very flexible and doesn't cover the whole HTML which is which is sad uh, and unsatisfying a little bit. Uh, we didn't move our org static pages because of the previous reason. Uh, we built a minimal uh, block. It's not uh, that pretty and uh, probably I won't use it in this uh, state. Probably I need to polish it and make it uh, look a little bit better, you know, to adjust some CSS and layout. But uh, it already works. Uh, I can write and publish something already. But, you know, I need also to think about uh, what format I would like to use to store the posts. Is it markdown or maybe it's a plain HTML generated with OX uh, hunt or maybe something else. We will see. We'll need to think about it. Uh, so think about blogging workflow x hunt or id or something else. The optimal solution will be of course to make a three seater parser for mod so I can you know make a hunt reader which will read my org post directly. But there is also a question how to synchronize my no notes in orgrom and blog posts. Oops. How to sync orgrom and blog posts. <laughs> we have a shared CSS and we didn't implement any navigation and didn't done any, anything related to Geeks package. So, because uh, of this uh, strange behavior, not, not strange, just, you know, uh, probably not very often used uh, thing that I actually use, uh, we uh, not accomplished those two tasks and spend a lot of time and effort on it. Uh, but we still made some progress towards a block. Uh, so it's it's okay. Okay, let's make a small conclusion. Uh, I'm very glad that, you know, Hunt is quite simple package and, you know, doesn't have any additional bloated dependencies. It requires basically guile and that's it. Uh, it works in REPL uh, and it's quite hackable. You see we made those pages uh, implemented quite easily. We couldn't fix HT SXML and HTML stuff because you know it will require a little more work and effort that I wanted to spend at the moment, but it's still also possible. Uh, actually I wrote this conclusion before the starting the stream uh, and <laughs> it's funny that I have a uh, statement that Hunt kind of logs in uh, with SXML representation and now we got hit uh, with this SXML representation during the stream. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, a good idea to store to process HTML in SXML format or we need to make another one uh, like shtml or maybe something else. Also, I quite like uh, hiccup uh, closure representation for html. It works quite good and uh, I actually quite like it. Maybe we can 
find something like this uh, for scheme but it also kind of problematic because you know you don't have a good support for vectors and uh, lists and uh, unified operations on them and good syntax for them so also we don't have uh, hash maps built in in uh, scheme so making hiccup can be problematic and kind of hard but okay uh, not a big deal I uh, will see what we can do without it and this is also a uh, nice and interesting that even if something won't work uh, as I expect uh, I will be able to change or implement it my way right now or in the future actually it's true because you know hunt is quite minimal and it's not uh, a problem to find out uh, different parts of it uh, fix them and send patches or even fork them and make it my own way but we'll see uh, we did some progress we explored uh, and found some problems we found some workarounds and we have some notes for the future I think I will proceed with this setup I need to establish a workflow for blogging and after that I came up uh, maybe with a blog post or maybe with another stream on the blogging setup and we'll see how it goes thank you everyone for your attention and I will see you in a bit